Okay, hello, I'm Julia Trostromy from English Wine Producers and I'm here today at the Hush Heath Winery in Kent and standing next to me is Richard Valfalin of Hush Heath. Hello Richard. Hello. Now, you're famous Julia, you were on The Apprentice this week, can you tell us about that? I know, I've been practising my severe look all week actually. You were um, very, very severe, it's, the it's whole panel was terrifying. They, they were, weren't they? We were looking very severe indeed, but uh, no, the, the great thing about The Apprentice um, was the very firm message of the quality of English wine. We were thrilled with that. Uh, we had a couple of tasks that we as the panel of expert uh, wine industry experts um, had to look at two uh, quite interesting um, marketing campaigns, online marketing campaigns. Um, but uh, Lord Sugar defended the quality of English sparkling wine. He felt that one of them wasn't at all right. Um, and. Um, you know, the best man won, I guess. But, but the basic message is, is that now so many people have watched that and know what English sparkling wine is, or may well go and look for it on shelves. I mean, do you think the message came across that it's a quality product? Oh, and uh, most definitely. I mean, right through to the end. Um, and uh, having it actually being uttered by Lord Sugar himself several times over was fantastic, because they didn't part company the words quality with English sparkling wine. You'll mm. be pleased to hear it, which is great. Mm. Yeah. Um, and uh, it's uh, since then it's been it's gone crazy. Twitter, Facebook. Facebook, emails, it's gone global. People are really suddenly seeing English sparkling wine and quality altogether. That's brilliant. Will mm. that translate to sales? In increase sales? Well, think? we'll find out. I think uh, certainly uh, one online retailer ha had so many hits that they're sort of struggling with keeping up. Now, whether hits are translating into sales, I have absolutely no doubt that a number of them will actually. That's absolutely brilliant. Mm. And we've got English Wine Week coming up shortly. Yes. Um, so that was a very sort of good timing for the TV programme. Was that planned? Excellent timing. No, it wasn't planned. We weren't too sure when it was actually going to be broadcast, although we knew it was going to be sometime around about then. Uh, but of course it's English Wine Week and English Wine Week we've chosen specifically this year to be over the Jubilee weekend and then the Jubilee weekend follow that with the Olympics and uh, yeah. Balfour Brute's going to be busy there too so uh, it's going to be a very busy next few months actually. Yep. So Richard we're at Bal at um, Balfour Sparkling Rosé at Hush Heath. Can you yes. just tell us a bit about your product? Yeah, well, uh, look, our speciality is pink sparkling rosé and from 2002 that's what we really worked on. Um, and it's it's a very dry, very young, very fresh wine, and and exciting. And I, and I agree with Julia entirely. You know, this is this is a big moment for English wine with with the Jubilee and the Olympics and, and the real focus on England and and yeah. showing what we can produce and what we can do. And I think yeah. that's that's the big opportunity. And what you've done is you've created a really high quality product, and obviously you're going to maintain that. I mean, how how do we? take away, how do we remove the reputation of some of the sort of not so good quality English wines? I think, I think that over the last few years a number of people have come into the English wine industry and invested significantly behind it and that's what's required, a professional approach to, to, to producing wine in England. There's no reason that we can't produce really great sparkling wines. Uh, yeah. We have very, very similar climates, soil conditions, wine making techniques. Mm -hmm vines to, yeah. to the Champagne region and we should, we have the climate, which is a cooler climate, which is ideal to get the acidity and the freshness that you need with, with great champagnes and great sparkling yeah. wines. The, the product's fantastic. Can you just, Richard, give us the name of your website? It's, it's uh, www.hushheath.com And Julia, the name of the English um, wine website? Yeah, EnglishWineProducers.com and you'll very soon see a new look EWP website I'm pleased to announce. So that'll be, we'll be telling everybody at Harper's very soon when that comes live. Mm. And English Wine Week That's is? That's EnglishWineWeek.co.uk. Okay, and the dates it. of it are? Uh, the 2nd to the 10th of June. That's fantastic, thank you both very much.